Seth the skeleton had stumbled upon a mysterious forest filled with ruins, treasure, and monsters at every turn. But most importantly, Seth met his new friend and mentor, the adventurer. With his new ally, Seth was eager to take on each new challenge that came his way. Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Spirit Mod Let's Play episode. We are playing as Seth the Skeleton and doing a melee class playthrough for now. We may switch that up later on. But last episode, we defeated the Glade Wraith and we explored the Briar and it was really awesome. We've got a lot of new equipment and in between episodes, I picked up a few more uh, materials so we can craft our next armor set. We are missing just a little bit of the Florin Ore. We've got plenty now. I went through and picked up as much as I could find. So that means we can now craft a whole bunch of stuff like the Florin Helmet and we can do the legs and the chest piece. There's also this hunting charm, which gives two defense and it does a 5% increase melee speed and slightly increases life regeneration while standing on grass. So that actually could be pretty cool for fighting, you know, like the Eye of Cthulhu or maybe King Slime. So now let's go ahead and switch on this armor and see what it looks like. Ooh, pretty cool. It covers up our eyes, but it looks pretty nice. It's like a druid armor set, kind of. Very leafy, very jungly. And our defense went up to 14. Let's see what it was before. It was 10, so we went up by 4 defense. And the set bonus says, Killing enemies may drop raw meat, restoring health. Each piece of this armor set increases our movement speed, which will be really nice. Ooh, looks like we got a pink slime here. Oh no. It's hard to hit it with this short sword. It's got to be jumping. Uh, maybe that's not the best weapon to use. Maybe we can use this one. This one's really nice. It stays right on the ground. Ooh, there we go. Seven seconds of well-fed. That is a really unique armor set ability. I farmed up a little bit more of the old leather as well. We had crafted this leather fist wrap earlier. So let's go ahead and get the leather striders. I don't know if we're really going to use them, but I want to have them because they do upgrade later on. And then we can do this shield right here, the leather safeguard. It does one defense and increases max life by 10. And I wonder, yes, this does craft into all sorts of different things. So we'll definitely want to keep this around. So the next thing I want to craft is definitely this scarab idol, which is the combination of antlion mandibles and topaz and that will summon our first boss. So let's go find a demon altar and we can craft that. So here we go down into our crimson tunnels. I'm sure we'll find an altar down here. A heart crystal right in the middle. Whoa, that thing looks pretty scary. I'm gonna leave that alone. Oh my goodness, so many spiders. It's kind of weird. We went through this whole area and we couldn't find a crimson altar. Um, I guess we've got more of those that we can explore. But one thing I was remembering is someone mentioned that we can actually buy these and we can get uh, loot from them. I thought they were like actual storage chests. So we've got a silver lockbox and let's get a gold coffer. So that one doesn't look like it gave us anything. <laughs> And that one doesn't look like it really gave us anything. It might have just been gambling for gold. Yeah, so maybe if we let's buy a couple of these cheap ones and see. That one gave us 71 silver. So yeah, it seems like, yeah, you can kind of gamble and maybe make money, but something tells me we probably won't make too much money doing that. Well, we've made it to another crimson area. Hopefully this time we will have a little bit more luck. And here we go. We got a bunch of altars down here but we can't really get to those ones because we don't have bombs. I should have brought bombs. We'll probably find one that's in the normal path though. And sure enough, this is what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and craft two of these summons, Scarab Idols. So we've now reached the center of the map and I think I'm gonna put together just a quick arena, maybe just a few platforms and that way we can ensure we can dodge this boss a little bit better. So I made an arena, but the boss won't summon. 
So I think I need to go over to a desert biome. And in fact, while we go to a desert biome, let's go down here and find our adventurer NPC because we've got some stuff to turn in. And here he is. We just returned the silk and we got this Wayfarer armor set. Gives us immunity to darkness, increased movement speed. So the set bonus says killing enemies grants a stacking damage buff. Breaking pots grants a stacking movement speed buff. Mining ore grants a stacking mining speed buff. All buffs stack up to four times. It's kind of cool. I think this other armor is going to be a little bit better though. And then we have a mysterious satchel, which contains two random paintings. That's cool. I wonder if these are specific to the spirit mod. Yeah, these are spirit mod paintings. And now we can do another quest. Oh, and this one is for the sacred vine. And he says, ever since I was captured by those savages from the briar, I've been doing some research on the place. That altar you found me at is supposed to harbor a really vengeful nature spirit. However, the vines that the spirit's made of are said to possess some magical regenerative properties or something. Mind investigating and kill some savages for me while you're at it. Sweet. Well, we already have that item, so next time I'm at base, I'll have to pick that up. Although I just thought of a better option. We could just build an arena right here and defeat another one of those glade wraiths and get that quest item again, assuming that it drops it. This time I want to use kind of a normal weapon so we can see the attacks of the boss a little bit better. So it's throwing out some bouncing spiky balls, kind of like Plantera. Pretty sweet. And then it shoots out leaves or just kind of some green magic. Ooh, almost getting hit there. Okay, if we're not using our short sword, this is actually a pretty long fight. But if we're above the boss, it's actually a lot easier. And we've almost got the Glade Wraith down again. There we go. And we got another one of these staffs. Shoots the leaves. Pretty sweet. And then we've got a Sacred Vine. So let's go turn that in right now. So he says, Revenge is sweet. Now those feral beasts in the briar are sure to think twice about capturing innocent adventurers in the future. I've whipped up some healing potions from those vines you gave me. I'm sure it'll help out when you're in a tight spot, eh? And let's go and see what the next thing is. Ooh, he gives us a quest for the sands of the desert hide a lot of secrets beneath them. There's supposed to be an ancient ziggurat buried near the surface of one of the wastelands. Could you head down there and scavenge some relics for me? I've got a hunch, but I need to confirm it. So we need to get a decrepit idol. So now it seems like we've got two reasons to head to the desert. Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies. Let's use a spear. Spears are so easy to control things with. Whoa, that is such a cool enemy. They ride the little bugs. Oh, they go invisible? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I installed a new mod and it's called the camping mod and it gives us the option to spawn at our original spawn or at our temporary spawn. So I clicked on temporary and I'll see if that works. There we go. So we spawned right here. And what I'm thinking of doing is we can put a treasure here and just deposit all the stuff we don't need. Okay, this time I'm not stopping for anything. We gotta move quickly. So far I haven't seen anything that looks out of the ordinary. Ooh, but we do have this. I'm just gonna wall ourselves in. I'm not gonna fight with all these enemies while I try to dig. So this looks like it might just be a normal pyramid. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a part of that quest, but let's go down and see what we got. Ooh, lots of gold. And we have a flying carpet. Okay, this is like the first time I think I've ever gotten one of these in a playthrough. Oh yes, so cool. <laughs> I'm not even used to using one of those. I feel like they're just so rare to get. There we go, that's definitely it. And it's getting corrupted over here. What is with these enemy spawn rates? There's so many. 
Okay, we gotta wall ourselves in. <laughs> what a tricky area to be in at night. Well, this is pretty awesome. Oh no, what was that? Bunch of beetles? And we have the decrepit idol. So it's an ancient artifact that resembles a scarab beetle. And now we can get this treasure at the top, which gives us a cactus staff. That's pretty sweet. And just a bunch of other gear. Pick all that up. So I just remembered something. We need to craft a platinum broadsword, and then we can craft the Xanabat sword. And that's from the Worn Adventurer sword we bought last episode. I gotta see what this thing does. Whoa, okay, this is a pretty solid sword. I don't know if it does anything special or if it's just a nice, strong, powerful sword. Well, we're back in the briar and let's go ahead and return this quest item. He says, I knew it. I was polishing up the old thing when it started to look real familiar. That's a scarab idol right there. I'm warning you, don't mess with it until you get real strong. Me and some bounty hunters tried to take that thing on years ago. We barely escaped with our lives. Be safe, lad. And now let's see what the next thing is. My colleague and expert archaeologist went roaming the place for some ancient temple. He didn't make it though. Real shame, that lad was a riot. Reports have told me that he's still roaming the jungle surface as a zombie. Mind going there and putting him to rest for me? He's been exploring enough. And let's see what we got. Got some vanity, got another mysterious satchel, and we've got the Slayer contract there to destroy Dr. Bones. So now let's go ahead and start up this boss fight and see how we do. I'm gonna get some of these things rolling. See if we can do some damage here. Oh my goodness, that's not a good weapon. Okay, let's start throwing our boomerang. We got a special boss song too. Uh-oh. Um, we're taking a lot of hits. Okay, I think we need to just focus on doing some true melee damage. Oh no. Man, we're taking way too many hits. I need to figure out this boss a little bit better. We're missing the hits. Okay, that was a total and utter fail. So unfortunately, we don't really have any good ranged weapons because it would be really good to have a nice boomerang. We probably could do some pretty good damage to the boss when it's on the ground using this thing. I was trying to do some true melee hits with our best weapon, this sword right here, but I really couldn't get close enough to those monsters to hit them. So before we have a rematch with that desert boss, I think we ought to focus on defeating maybe the Eye of Cthulhu and getting the Shield of Cthulhu. I think that will help quite a bit. It's not night yet, so let's go ahead and start up a fight with King Slime. And let's see if we can do well. I think this is going to be a really easy fight. This weapon right here is going to do really nice. It'll pierce through all of the slimes that he summons. Yeah, we can just stand right here and do plenty of damage. Okay, we just gotta get around them. Maybe we'll jump into the tree. That works. Okay, well I guess we can just go over to this wall over here and use that to change directions because we can get up really high. So now we go right here. I don't even know if we're gonna get hit this fight. I don't think we have yet. And the fight continues, just kind of following the same pattern. Oh no, we got hit. Uh-oh. Getting complacent. Getting pretty close though. Oh, we got some iron skin. That'll come in handy. Oh no. <laughs> I hate when he teleports on us like that.
And after a long fight, we have defeated the King Slime. There we go. So I don't think there's too much we need from King Slime, but let's see what we got anyways. Ooh, a Royal Gel. That's nice. We have the Slime Saddle. Perfect. And then we've got the Ninja Hood, Ninja Shirt, and the Solidifier. Oh, and it looks like we also have a Blank Glyph, which can be used with the Enchanter. I think that's an NPC we haven't found yet. Ooh, look at that. We have a Deadeye Marksman below us. Kind of a scary looking guy. And drops old leather. Oh, another one. I wonder if it's just a certain phase of the moon that we get those enemies. And we can do the Ace of Clubs. So the Ace of Clubs makes enemies drop money when we get critical hits. It's pretty cool. So now I think it's time to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. So we've got Danger Sense on, so it's easier to see. And I think this is going to be our best weapon. Doesn't do much damage. Doesn't do hardly any, really. But we'll be able to defeat the boss with it. We could also try doing like a tanking method. I don't know if we have enough defense for that, though. Yeah, tanking method might not be a good option. Maybe with this weapon. Or we can maybe use this cutter. Kind of good. Okay, well, we'll just stick with this one right here. This is doing consistent damage. This armor set's actually really good, getting that meat or something that the enemies drop every once in a while. It gives us 10 health, like there. Grab one of those, and then it gives us well-fed buff. So now we can roll one of these, take out all the enemies. Works pretty well there. Switch back to this. Okay, I'm trying to do a little bit more tanking. Okay, well now we've got the next phase, and I think this is going to be a good weapon for it. Sweet! I think we're going to be able to get the Eye of Cthulhu. Man, this boss fight is taking forever. Just gotta stay consistent. Keep running. Oh no, taking hits. Getting close. Just gotta keep rolling these. Oh no. Oh, that was so close. We were 40 health. <laughs> okay, we defeated the Eye of Cthulhu. And thank goodness, we've got our Shield of Cthulhu. I feel like that's such an important item early game. And now we can dash. We've got great mobility. I feel like I really need some better weapons though. But now with a bunch of Crimtain bars, we can actually craft a few things. 
we can either do the blood butcher or the artery and I'm kind of thinking I want to go with a yo-yo because we've got enough damage with this Xanabat sword already. Maybe a yo-yo with some yo-yo string is just what we need to help us defeat that desert boss too. But I think that's a great place to end this episode. We've done a bunch of quests for the adventurer NPC. We've defeated the Glade Wraith once more. And we've also defeated the Eye of Cthulhu and the King Slime. So next episode, we'll definitely defeat that desert boss. Be sure to let me know what items you think I should get next. And I'll try to get those next episode. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.